So here's a review of ionic and molecular compounds. Okay, Ions always start with a metal. Molecular compounds only have nonmetals, so they always start with a nonmetal. Naming ionic compounds are pretty simple. Metal, nonmetal, and remember a nonmetal ion, we always change the ending to IDE. So lithium chloride, sodium oxide. It's complicated to get the formula. You need to use your periodic table, you need to look up ion charges, and you need to use the crisscross rule. So here's our lithium from up here. Lithium is a one plus. Chlorine is a one minus. We get rid of the plus and the minus. We drop our numbers, crisscrossing them. So the lithium gets a one and the Cl gets a one. We would call that lithium chloride, LiCl. And here's a model. You would have made this with your molecule kits and holding it together, ionic bond. Here's the sodium and the oxygen. Sodium's a one plus, oxygen's a two minus. Get rid of the plus and the negative, crisscross them. And a, now there's a two here and the oxygen gets a one. Na2O, if we were to make it with molecule kits, there's two sodiums and one oxygen. And that makes sense because oxygen is two minus. It needs an electron from that sodium and it needs an electron from that sodium. Oxygen's happy, sodium and sodium happy. Here, chlorine only needs one electron, so it only has to match up with one lithium. Molecular compounds use prefixes. So you would see the monos and the dyes and the tries. So here's monocarbon dioxide. We would commonly call that carbon dioxide. Dihydrogen monoxide is really water. We always change the endings, not of the first nonmetal, but of the second one. Uh, to write the formulas, we just look at the prefix. So if it's monocarbon, we need one carbon. Dioxide, we need two oxygens. So we get CO2. Dihydrogen, two hydrogens. Monoxide, one oxygen. There it is. And we get H2O. Make it, there's the carbon, an oxygen, and an oxygen. So a CO2. H2O, two H's, and one oxygen. Different kind of bond. This is a covalent bond. Remember, this is the metal gives the electron to the nonmetal. They stay together because that guy's a positive ion and that guy's a negative ion, so they're attracted. Here, they're sharing electrons, so they have to stay together. If they don't, they're not happy anymore. They're not getting the right amount of electrons, so they share them and they share them. That's what a covalent bond is. Makes properties of ionic compounds and properties of molecular compounds very different.